sickening too by the way and you you are not off the hook oh my god either speaking of gay should we show this cute little video we saw was that last night featuring shane gillis and taylor lawan <laughs> and the name of the game is shane gillis and in quarterback in quarterback football back taylor lawan I guess. I don't know. Do you that. guys know Taylor Luan? Do you know you know Shane Gillis? And I've been looking to bust Shane Gillis for many years. As soon as I saw Shane Gillis, I hated him. Shane guilt is. Yes. Um, <laughs> I've pretty much busted Shane for a hundred little subtle things that he knows is true <laughs> and he fears. You know, Shane Gillis, again, you're dealing with the best of the worst. Not even. But Comedy fans are so starving. They're thirsty. They haven't been fed comedy in so many years. And comedy, stand-up comedy especially, is so, so, so bad that when a guy like Shane Gillis comes around, this is how bad stand-up is. Shane Gillis comes around, and it Shane looks good as a good comic. Apparently, I'm the only one who sees this. I mean, everybody loves Shane in the comedy world. Shane Gillis... I can't love him just for how he looks. I'm sorry. No, you don't. Your body and your clothes, those navy blue Notre Dame shirts. Is that what he wears? It's Notre Dame. Today, Shane know, is. Shane, know. what are you wearing? It's a Notre Dame from colleges. I hate. I definitely would that like shit. him about 30% more. He with needs a, a nice stylist. Makeover. Yes. I, I mean, 100% more. Because already. I would like Shane Gillis <laughs> if I could style him. So Shane Gillis is under attack right now. No one will say anything because Shane wants to keep his connections. This guy is like a big guy at Barstool. Does he work for Barstool too, Taylor? Okay, let's show a picture. Um, Here it comes. Taylor Luan. Do people know him? This is big. He's just, look at this. That's a football player, 77. What is this? The uh, Miami Marketplace? What team is he on? Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans. There he is, Taylor Lewan. People know him. Did people say they know who this is? Did you see anyone I feel say like that? His podcast is popular, and he's a real alpha male. He is a true alpha male, and you're going to see some of his activities that we caught. We couldn't believe it. Um, in a video that uh, we're very excited to bring to you called the Beer Olympics. You might have heard of the Beer Olympics. It's a bar stool event. Uh, that's a video where all these guys from different walks of the internet get together and compete in beer games. Uh, Dave Portney signed off on this. I wonder if he's seen this. I wonder if he knows how bad this is. I, you know, Dave just Dave just bought back bar stool for one dollar. So they have a show called the Beer Olympics, and guess who was on it? Bert Kreischer and Shane Gillis is a team competing against alpha males all around the internet who also think they're the best at drinking. Have you seen Bert lately? Do we have a photo of Bert? I was there's a couple of sightings of both Bert, like Uncle Laser. I thought we could peruse yeah. the Beer Olympics and Way kind of take a see. peek at these guys. So we'll show you some stuff we found in the Beer Olympics. Bert Kreischer was there. He was not having it that day. Shane Gillis was there. And Shane, wake up! This is something you should write me a secret DM and thank me for what I'm about to show people and how I'm going to stick up for you here today. And you should also tell the world that, no, Matt McCluster, or whatever his name is, (laughs) is not good. You can't. One million views on Matt McCusker's New comedy People special. Love them. Guys, you haven't been this wrong in a long time. <laughs> Matt McCusker, I might start really doing some stuff to him. <laughs> you know what the problem is? He's so nice. He seems like a nice guy. And I want to say that Matt McCusker, you have nothing to fear of me. Uh, Trust me, we've tried. There's nothing to fear, but I cannot, you know, you need to give all the money you make off comedy to a charity okay that's the right thing to do because you do not deserve that money 
you deserve a little bit of money because you're an average fucking man. <laughs> you deserve a good life, but you do not deserve one million views ever. Okay? Let me show you this Beer Olympics. It's his podcast, Brothers of Bros, <laughs> who's putting this on. So I guess that's why he's featured the most. But he's also the loudest and most obnoxious. Look at this work that he just had done all in one sitting. That looks like Anissa's for tattoo. What? For what? And I guarantee you had your full butt out for this. Yeah, I want it to go down just a little bit there. So I'll just remove all my clothes if that's cool with you. Uh... It's usually we would want you to wear underwear. Chinese tattooist. You never saw it coming. We want you to wear underwear, please. Oh, no, that's cool. I could just go bare. It's cool with me. Throws the towel on my Asian tattooist head. You know. <laughs> okay, I got to do it. Well, should we pause here for a second and go sure. back to his sure. uh, appearance on Bert's podcast? Like, don't close this. No, just I know. Oh, I know. I know what I'm doing here. This is the first time we heard about this guy. First link? Yeah. Okay. Jack, one of our production guys, was like... So he was on Something's Burning. Something's Burning. <laughs> yeah. His first pants. Now, do you guys remember the time where everyone was like, oh, is Jeffree Star dating Tom Brady? Because yes. he posted that pic with some tall football guy. Remember that? So and there was it, a big trending thing where it was Jeffree Star holding the hands of some t tall football player, but he was turned around. And for a month, they all said, I bet that's Tom Brady and Tom Brady is out and he's gay with Jeffree Star. I mean, <laughs> guys. <laughs> You thought that was going to happen? Remember when they were like, Jeffree Star and Kanye, I think, had sex. Like, think <laughs> you guys thought that happened? You thought that that's possible. <laughs> With and Kanye, anything is possible, so. No guy is fucking Jeffree Star. is a secret. <laughs> Unless. So, you guys know Jeffree Star, right? Thin, tall, Kleinian. Looks like Hila Klein, basically. Silver hair. Bye. Wait till you hear. We've put together quite a concept here today. This isn't just random video clips. We're weaving a very important story. Hopefully a story that will sh save Shane's life. This is big. And if this comes out good, feel free to clip it. If it comes out good. And this is the guy that did that thing, pick thing with Jeffrey. And he also interviewed him. And I guess this was on the same day. Yeah. So I hope people remember this picture we're talking about. And it turns out it was this guy in the picture promoting that him and Shane are doing an interview on Barstool, right? Or that him and uh, Jeffrey Star. Sorry. Okay. Maybe we want to show that Jeffrey Star picture very quickly. We can show the picture, yeah, I guess. Because I feel like if you haven't seen that picture, this... It's not going to be as good. I think we should show that. I'm just give us a moment. It's just one quick pick. Plus, I mean, you guys get to see a picture of Jeffrey Star. I mean, that's like a bonus. That's like giving people money. You want to see a picture of Jeffrey Star? That's like saying, do you want a free 50 bucks? Sure. I love looking at people like Jeffrey Star. I could look at him all day. And it is a him, by the way. It's not a tranny. It's a weird, crazy guy. Oh, this is Trevor still. The one. So we're just waiting for the picture that I could have this found. This also has the reveal, but basically him and Jeffrey were doing this troll where Jeffrey wanted to troll everybody yeah. into thinking he was dating Tom Brady. Yeah, so here, this is perfect. This is the picture, and this was all over online, right? Everyone just saw this picture here. And they go, oh, that's going to be Tom Brady. Tom Brady's fucking Jeff And people believe that. And then it was revealed a week later that it was Taylor Luan to promote this podcast. Okay, now you get it. And he did a podcast with Jeffrey Star. But it was basically just about Jeffrey's life. It yeah, but this is, I, and I want people to see this is what Jeffrey Star looks like. It is not a girl, by the way. He does not go by she. It's not a tranny. It is just a guy who wears makeup and crazy clothes. See, now a lot of people get that wrong. They think Jeffrey Star is like a tranny. No, no, no. Literally, Jeffree Star is a guy like me, wears makeup and crazy clothes. He doesn't even wear girls' clothes. These are like alien clothes. <laughs> this isn't a woman's top. This is like a weird jumpsuit that's only shown for him. <laughs> so it's neither men's nor women's. And it's just the makeup, I think, is throwing people off. But he goes by he. 
he calls himself he, he is perfectly straight. He just thought, he didn't know. No tits. That he has no tits, <laughs> does have a fake butt, which is pretty tough to ignore, but uh, <laughs> not a girl. And that's very important for what's coming here. So what time code 2707? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's yay. Yay. Uh, yay's coming? <laughs> yay's oh, going to be. Look, they're together again, Shane and Taylor. So everywhere Shane is, Taylor is right behind him. And wait till you see what we got here for you. But here's Bert cooking it up. Here's Taylor, and here's uh, Shane doing jack shit on this show, like always. But listen to what Taylor says. Hey, the person I just had the podcast today, when Will was getting his passport, allegedly fucked Kanye. No! Allegedly. He's talking about Jeffrey, right? So he's spreading this rumor. He said, the person I had on my podcast today? Is that what he said? Yeah. Okay, so he's talking about Jeffrey. And this is another one of these idiots. You think that Jeffrey Star fucked Kanye. He believes that. Now, I believe he believes that. So do because I, I remember the Jeffrey interview and he was like, did you fuck Kanye? And Jeffrey was like, hmm. Yeah. Oh. So Jeffrey was doing what Jeffrey always does. So he's like, yeah, did you fuck Kanye? He's like, guess we'll never know. The answer is no, they don't know each other. <laughs> the only reason the internet spread this rumor is because Jeffrey lives in Wyoming and Kanye had a house in Wyoming and Jeffrey uh, alluded- Encouraged the rumor. Encouraged the rumor. But it's, Jeffrey Starr just makes stupid rumors and then, but anybody with a mind can see he's joking. Like there's, he didn't fuck Kanye, but he believes it. And I'll tell you why he believes it. The reason he believes Kanye fucked Jeffree Star is because he would fuck Jeffree Star. Yep. Wait till you hear what he says. Is it coming up right here? Listen to this. Wait, what happens? Allegedly, as in it's said on the pod. It's talked about on the pod. Ooh, and who? I'll have who to tune what? in. Hey. And that person really wanted to fuck Tanner Technini, dude. Really? You do got that look on you. <laughs> hey, he's who? 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 Hey, go Tanner, side. That's my boy. Tanner. Go side. Oh, I thought. I thought. Hey, go side, bro. Well, right? Girls fuck Listen Kanye. No, I'm half no, listening, no, no, going, no, no, no. wait, yeah, buddy. Jordan. Hey, yeah. it wasn't a girl. It wasn't a girl. Yes, they just dressed like a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yep. Star. Well, that tracks. Listen. He said, "Oh, that tracks." <laughs> hey, and by the way, he is awesome. Listen. I bet. Jeffrey. He is so fucking cool. Yeah. Yes, you should have. You want to talk about that at all? Can you? Yeah, you like him. I can talk about. I mean, I we've actually talked about. We're gonna push That's the show probably next week. What else do you like about him? Why? Yeah. What? You like him? He's hot. Yeah. Is he? Listen. I mean, he's a good. He when he's all dressed up like a girl, you're like, yo, low key. He got some cheeks <laughs> when on he's him. All dressed up like a girl. That's funny. Okay, no. <laughs> do you understand what's happening here? Mass confusion, or this guy's gay. He's gay. So. He thought that Jeffree Star fucked Kanye West, an obvious joke. And then he just said here, when he's dressed up like a girl, Jeffree Star is pretty hot. No, 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 no. That is not true. Uh, no one has ever said that. Now, sure, we've heard people like Nikita Drag. Now, I will never say that. If a trans person is a girl, there is no hot Ever fucking ever. So you think Nikita Dragon's hot? No, but I'm saying the confusion is you've heard people go, like Louis J. Gomez types of people like that. They go, oh, Nikita Dragon, like, dude, she's actually pretty hot, though. You know, you got to admit, or these trannies that really look like girls. You've heard these guys. But Jeffrey is not that. Jeffrey is not a tranny that really looks like a girl. It looks like a straight up guy alien. He's never looks hot. He has no tits ever. So how could he be hot? How could he be hot? When he's dressed up like a girl, he's pretty hot, though, and fuckable. No, it has no tits. It looks like a white Martian with scars all over it. It's never been hot. It never is hot. If Jeffrey is hot to you, you're gay. Look at his face. He doesn't even know what he's saying. He thinks we're all like, yeah, that's true. Jeffrey Star is pretty hot when and it's dressed up as a girl. No, no, no. Shane during these parts also. Yes, keep an eye on Shane. Okay, here. Why? What? You like him? He's hot. Yeah. Is he? I mean, he's a good, he, when he's all dressed up like a girl, you're like, yo, low key. No. He got some cheeks when on he's him. All dressed no. up like a girl. That's fucking great. <laughs> yo, that's I'm fucking just saying. Great. We were that's all joking about that great. in the car, dude. 
He is That's awesome. Fucking um, great. Now, when is this going to come out? JV. Oh, he- it keeps going. Oh, it keeps going. Look at this. Speaking of low key, this guy's down low. That's a down low look. <laughs> this is a down low personality. The DL, the great hide. The shameful service. He was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was? Uh, I looked over JP goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jack, one of our production guys, was like, you know Jeff has, gives the best head. Okay. So they're kind of, he's kind of agreeing with what somebody said. He's like, but you know Jeffrey gives the best head. Listen ben, to this. Yeah, listen to this. Sec. Jack, one of our production guys, was like, you know Jeff has, gives the best head. We're doing a show. We're doing hey, a show. Relax. Come to the camera and say this. You can clear no, your name, brother. Yeah. No, you know Jack's fired up. Yeah, beyond. well, he just came out of the garage. Fool ship. <laughs> Fool ship after he just basically outed himself for saying, "I bet Jeff gives good head." <laughs> and why would you bet that? Because I would bet it would be like putting my dick. In the garbage disposal. I mean, Jeffree Star is fucking freaky. I don't think I could even look at it. Gibbs, the best head. I couldn't even imagine such a gory sight. But watch Shane here after you hear. You said that Jeffrey probably gives incredible fellatio. Uh, and all dudes probably give great Dude, that's head. what I'm saying. All dudes yeah. give good head. If a guy, we all know what we like. I can picture in my head the perfect head I could possibly get, how it dude. works, how it rolls, everything in between. He's a dude. He's got a dick. Dude. He knows exactly how to do that thing. Look at Shane. I'm sure we all probably kind of do. Oh, I would yeah. Suck. I would suck. No, 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 no. There is no we. These guys are sitting around talking about how guys would be the best at giving head because they know what a guy wants. I shouldn't have to explain. And he was talking about this before, too, and his staff yes. member. He tried to pass it off on him, and that, that guy came charging out just to set the record yes. straight that he didn't say Yeah. That. So you've got that. Now, does Shane say something here? Uh, I think you could keep playing it for another okay, minute. Okay, watch this. Talk well. What uh? What well. number? What hey, number? Did, did, did you ever? Did you ever? Uh, did you ever try when you were little? Of course. Oh, uh, yourself? A little? Yeah. Everybody does. No. You never tried? I swear to God, never. <laughs> hey, never uh, crossed you, my mind. I'll I tell mean, you, I knew it was I just. I'll tell you the one time I Shane says no. I'm gay. I'm gonna be so mad. There's already people that are thinking he's gay. So Shane saw all this go down. Shane sees all this. He knows, and he knows this guy's fancy. He knows he's sweet. It is not okay to be sweet <laughs> as a non-sweet. So let's go back to this here. That's and now, sugar. now you know Taylor a little better. Watch him have a crush on Shane. I'm the only one who's looking out for Shane here. Shane, I will protect you. I will. This guy needs to come clean now. He needs to come clean because I believe, here's the thing, people go, look at this guy, he's outing a gay, he's picking on a homo. Now, uh, to hide the fact that you're gay could be the most hateful thing you could do to the gay community and to that gay little kid who's terrified to come out because the more you guys hide it, I said this to Todd Glass, behind his back, uh, 50 years of not being gay and then coming out gay, uh, year 51 is coming out gay. That's not a hero. That's... You hated gays. For 50 years, gays were so disgusting to you that you pretended to be straight, which would be like if I pretended to be gay for some nefarious reason, which is nuts. So think about that, and that should be basic. I know we all, oh, we had to give him time. 20 years old would have been a good time. And if he does come out as gay soon, Shane has to be his boyfriend. Boyfriend! Smooch time. <laughs> Yep, Shane, this is your new boyfriend. You can't get a girlfriend. You've struggled for years. So we all know Shane Gillis is terrible. Um, terrible in, what do they call it? In the field. <laughs> Shane Gillis is terrible in the field. He strikes out constantly, right? He can't get it together to talk to women. This is perfect. Here's a guy. He already loves you. He's taller than you. And just be gay with him. That's all you've got. You're never going to have a good sex life with a woman. You might as well get fucked up the holes by this guy. Hey, it's a football player. You could marry a football player. And I want to see Shane in a full makeup and 
<laughs> blonde curls at the ball game, dressed up like one of those white trash skanks that all the football players date. <laughs> you know, those Instagram, like, overweight Instagram hoochies that they date. I want Shane dressed up as that <laughs> at the game, kissing and hugging him. Shane, you're gay now. I thought you said this was going to help me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so it's a bunch. And by the way, if you're wearing, like, a RAF shirt to a party, I can't have it. All right, so it's coming up right now, I think. Flip cup on TV doesn't work. There's Bert. <laughs> You saw it. Okay, so here's Shane, here's Taylor. He doesn't let Shane have five uh, inches of breathing room at this whole party. So this is the first incident. So keep your eye on him, keep your eye on Shane. Here's Shane. Look at this guy. You saw Watch it. Watch it. You're not good at this. Bro. I never. <laughs> not in my house. Look, oh. Leave Shane alone. He's nagging Shane. So his big thing is to like pick on Shane, chase him all over the backyard. <laughs> By the way, I don't think you should be hanging out with people in the backyard unless it's your fucking family. Sorry. Sorry. That's another thing about me. I don't go in other people's yard. It's not true. Okay, but seriously, you're following him around the backyard, which is a fool's move. By the way, there's this chick here. Not one guy by her. The only guy that's by her is more interested in fucking camera filming guys. <laughs> you got this chick here dying to suck a <laughs> c She's so horny from the sports she saw, the beer pong sport. You know, and you could easily go take this woman and throw her into this bush and push her head down and do whatever you want. Nobody would know. <laughs> this guy could take her, crack her head open, and <laughs> her. But yeah, you'd rather just talk. So that's proof. Okay, here is, and Taylor Luan's got a little hair tie around here. What's that for? So he could give <laughs> Put that around his hair so he could give Look how he, and this is a small one, but this is the first one. So watch him again. Watch him. He's picking on Shane. <laughs> You're not good at this. Bro. I never. <laughs> not in my house. Look, grabbing him. 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 But look at this. He's wearing no underwear. And he's shaved. Everybody knows that a guy wearing their pants this low, this should all be hair. See this mouse? You should have at least that much hair sticking out. Otherwise, what are you doing? Waxing? You're sh bicking the stash? That, I hope people know when we say clean it up down there, they don't mean shave the top. <laughs> it's never meant shave the top. You shave the balonies. You shave some other stuff. You don't shave really any. You don't need to do nothing down there. Close it up. <laughs> but this guy is shaving or waxing. I bet he go. No. You know what he does? He gets it waxed. Because you know why? Because he's. it's an appointment where he gets to be naked in front of a professional guy. And he gets off on that, I believe. I believe he goes, oh, yeah, I got to get waxed for the game. Are there any male And then he's waxers? like, ah, oh, let's wax. I would say, and this goes the same thing. You know how you can get a spray tan and they'll girls like get naked for a spray tan and they have the spray tannist do the whole night. I can't believe it. I can't believe a girl walks into a strange building <laughs> and for $12.99 and some points goes into the back room with a stranger no who way. works at the tanning salon and the tanning salon person sees you nude. Now, but it's just another girl and they yes, don't really but look at you. Imagine now if you're a guy he does appointments that you can, like, he'll go to doctors to get naked. He goes places where he can get naked in front of men, and it's legal. <laughs> That's what he does. So, he's not wearing any underwear. He's bicked everything here. He's ready for the night. He's did the shave down. Look, there you got some hot chicks here, but they're being ignored. Because the guys want to play with the guys. <laughs> even a Trump chick. She probably loves free speech and beer. You think that's a Trump chick? Anybody who wears a red hat is yeah, Trump to me. That's true. So here's Bird in the pool. They're going <laughs> to do a pool party with all the guys where they all touch and splash. So um, they're doing a pool party where they play around with the guys and hold them underwater for long. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I got him. This is it. Okay, watch Taylor. Oh. So look at Taylor manhandling Shane. So Shane's dressed. Taylor, this has been like Taylor's biggest part of the fantasy. His pre-fantasy of this day has been, dude, 
we're going to be in the pool together. We're going to be drunk. I mean, we're allowed to roughhouse. <laughs> this is going to be, I mean, this would be like getting to play with a hot chick in the pool with your clothes off. And it was just playful. <laughs> so he gets the fantasy of a lifetime. Look at what he does to show him. He's grabbing Shane. Oh my God, wait. They were like tearing at his uh, shorts too. And now Taylor is behind Shane, pressed up against him. I mean, we... I mean, Sorry, that was too long to have a guy grabbing your belly. Well, if look I at this. I mean, if someone was grabbing my belly for that many seconds, I would be like, what is going on here? I wouldn't let a man touch me like this for more than a milla second. So he's grabbing him from behind and he really pushes his body against Shane. Here. <laughs> oh, into the Wawa. Oh, and he can't keep his hands off Shane, who looks like Adolf Hitler. And if you're this guy and you're single, you're going to be playing with Shane Gillis in the pool the whole time? You're going to be touching him and grabbing him? And Shane doesn't play back. I mean, he does in a, I'm trying to be one of the guys. I'm just trying He's to fit in. talk about this after. Yeah, so here, let's see this again. Poor Shane. Although Shane, I would have said, I'm not going in. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, this is outrageous. And is this a beard that's shaped like a horn? <laughs> uh, and oh. look at him. He's having the time of his life. A he's football player with Shane Gillis. I don't know about shy. you, but I'd be with one of the chicks. Not Shane. <laughs> what did we used to... We go back to the Shane Vic. What did we used to always... Neuters. <laughs> Neuters, yeah. <laughs> you look like the fucking devil. I like to imagine that is a pointy goatee, like yes. a pointy beard coming up. Yes, like a Tibetan guy. And look how gross he looks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I did not. And look at him. Oh, 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 you know what? You know what? Look at Shane. <laughs> He's going to do this to the water. <laughs> oh. And this whole thing, by the way, is an hour long episode of almost no talking and just scenes of guys like splashing, it's just and shoving, s- splashing, like, like, oh, playing, skipping over all the parts where they're no. jokes and talking. Nope. No it's talking. just guys grabbing each other, tickling each other and having the best fucking day of their life. <laughs> um... Damn, you're having the fucking time of your life, dude. If only you could fuck them after, huh? If only, but this is enough for now. You're gonna jack off to these thoughts. Oh my god! We're fighting. fighting. (laughs) (laughs) What is that? Oh, oh. Wait till you see Sean. Where are you? (laughs) Ooh. Oh, Shane. Shane, how could you? How could you? He's lost, left up, lost, lost. How could you? Even Bert knows. He could go for a little sideburn. He could have Yeah, I know. What is with Shane and being sh- so embarrassed of sideburns? It's making you look gross. All these guys who cut their sideburns, you look gross. It's like contouring. Just add a little extra. Well, you're just don't shave off areas of your hair that's growing in. Clean it up, but you don't remove your DNA. That's your genetic makeup. <laughs> you don't shave it off. It'd be like if I shaved off me lips. So Shane is sitting here polluting the pool, turning it into a miso scented broth. Isn't he disgusting? No other guy is as pale as him. You know, no guy's tan enough for me. That's for sure. Look at this gay guy back here. Wait a minute. This is another straight up gay guy. You really can't wear jeans without a shirt, right? 
I don't think, I don't think so. they thought that through. And you can't tuck in your tea to your... And look at this. It's all shaved. Really erotic. Erotica. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Suck our dicks, dude. Mark, Mark was going to be Suck and fuck. Any strategy. Okay, where, is there any more to this one? Um, that's it. And okay. we could also watch Shane quickly talk about yeah, it after see, the fact. Because we got a clip now of Shane talking about it the next day. And he's going to allude to something crude. Okay. You guys ready to cruise with me over to Matt and Shane's secret podcast? What do you guys think? Here's Shane, and this is Matt and Shane's secret podcast with Tom Segura. Okay. Here, listen to this. Yeah, who's, in, who's it? in it? Um, so the winners was George Kittle and DeForest Buckner. Oh, Jesus Christ. DeForest Buckner is a freak, dude. You yeah. see that guy, you're like, holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. The These guys debate, are retired? No. What? No, they're like pro bowlers. And they're getting played? Yes. And they're getting hammered too. Yeah. I, yeah Talking about got, the Bear Olympics. Shit, yeah. So it's like, yeah. so it's like not only that, that level of athleticism, but they're also fueled. They're fired up. Yeah. They're fired and, the fuck up. And then, so like I, you, you loved know it. Me. If somebody says something mean to me, I try to say the meanest thing possible. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you do that to those guys, it's a, they will resort to violence. Sure. <laughs> Quickly, yeah. they will you mean resort to kissing and hugging. So you're saying like all the guys were like picking on each other. And then when Shane would do one back, it would be a little too He's hard trying to find a way to make sense of what happened yeah. to him that night. And you were getting kissed, hugged and touched all night. So you're, you think that was just the guys roughhousing you. Shane, wake up. You're being, what do they call that? You're being, devoured by gay men. You have something that the gays want, especially these big, tall football players. You're a tiny little uh, squishy sex toy to them. You know, you ever thought about yourself that way? I never thought about you that way. You've got cake. You're a, uh, yeah, you're like something they fuck from the sex store. They take you with one hand and they just fucking use it to jack themselves off with. That's what you've become. Okay, listen to this. Shane. Completely go to violence. Yeah. And then you're just, you're How done. were they tempering it? Was it like just like headlocks and like. Taylor gave me 10 different headlocks. Taylor gave me 10 different headlocks. <laughs> One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. How many little kisses can I do? Look you made this. me tap 10 times. <laughs> And I was like, dude, I'm going to tap every time. Stop yeah. doing it. And sometimes he wouldn't listen to the tap. I'd be like, dude, for real this time. <laughs> he wouldn't oh, listen. He wouldn't listen. No means no, not in football. See, football players can't go out raping women anymore. You'll be off the team. <laughs> but you can rape Shane Gillis. No one's going to believe it. You could fuck Jeffree Star in the ass. You've heard about these football players, Randy Taylor, Taylor Jackson. The second you saw the football player Colton as the new bachelor, yep. like he's gay, and he it came out years I later. Called out this guy Colton from the Bachelor. I said he's gay, and I was really adamant about it. Years later, he came out as gay. Nobody was accusing him of being gay when I was. No, nope. I got a real heart for this. <laughs> and yeah, I find it to be deceptive. I find a lie is a lie. And I like catching a liar. And again, please don't mistake this for being gay is wrong and to hide from me about it. Um, you know a guy's gay when they've been playing Xbox all day. Oh my God, Notre Dame coasters. What is, just the college? I don't know. He likes the college course. <laughs> he likes their curriculum. What is going on at this Notre Dame that you got to have it all over your house? And what Xbox is this, 360? I Which know, I'm a PS5 guy. This looks like, oh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. We have PS5, the Sony. <laughs> I call it the Sony. It's all. Hey, uh, you got the Sony? <laughs> uh, what is this? Icebreakers? Yes. Or Chew? Is it Chew or Icebreakers? It's Chew. Okay. And what is this? I hate when guys are walking around with these cream coffees. Cafe Desta. Ugh, and they walk around all day with these because they're such wimps. They take two sips. They go strong. It's, okay, here, here. It's it's a dude, which just not goes, even. I mean, I was I was a baby boy. No, but boy, I mean, it just dude. goes to like <laughs> about like he how baby what boy. other level yeah. these fucking yeah. freaks are. I suplexed him. 
Yeah. They I hope they got that on them? camera. I was I got him a couple times in there. <laughs> there you go. I was holding him underwater at one point. <laughs> you know me in the water, dude. I, True. I said, come down to the deep end, you are dude. A creature a in the water. Little hippo in there, dude. You're just a creature. <laughs> so <laughs> Kittle, <laughs> Kittle and Buckner at one. And who else is? It? Okay. So did I show the world something they've never seen before? I hope so. I hope you get the point. I hope you know how important that was.